Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for Everyone. In this video, let us analyze molecular geometry of NH3 molecule based on VSEPR theory, valential electron pair repulsion theory. According to valential electron pair repulsion theory, the shape of a molecule depends upon the number of valential electron pairs around the central atom. The electron pair in that valential repel each other due to negatively charged. To minimize the repulsion, they try to maximize the distance between them. Among the repulsions, lone pair lone pair repulsion is greater than lone pair bond pair repulsion, which is also greater than bond pair bond pair repulsion. Here you can see that number of formula. Using this formula, let us try to predict that geometrical shape of NH3 molecule with the help of VSEPR theory. Total number of electron pairs around central atom is equal to half into Vc plus Tmc. We see here valence electrons of central atom. In NH3 molecule, nitrogen is a central atom, valence electron 5. Then Tmc, total monovalent atom attached to the central atom. Here, hydrogen is a monovalent atom. Then bond pair is equal to total atom attached to the central atom Tc. If you find out that total number of electron pair and bond pair, we can find that lone pair which is equal to total electron pair around central atom minus total bond pair. So using this formula, let us find out lone pair and bond pairs. So total electron pair is equal to half into we see valence electron of nitrogen, nitrogen atomic number 7, so valence electron 5, so 5 plus total monovalent atom here, 3 hydrogen atoms are here, so 5, 3, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 by 2 is equal to 4. Now we go to find out that bond pair. Bond pair is equal to total atom attached to the central atom. So in ammonia, there are three hydrogen atoms. So bond pair is equal to three. So from this, we can find out that lone pair. So lone pair, total electron pair around the central atom minus total bond pair. Already we got that four total electron pair around the central atom minus bond pair here three. So four minus three, one. So there is only one lone pair in NH3 molecule. Using this information, we can find out that molecular type. So, in molecular type, A stands for central atom, B stands for atoms attached to the central atom and L stands for lone pair. So, only one nitrogen atom, so A, then there are three hydrogen atoms, so A, B, three, then only one lone pair, so L. So, the molecular type in NH3 molecule is AB3L type. Look at the table here. If the molecular type is AB3L, then number of bond pair 3 and then number of lone pair 1, then the electron pair arrangement is tetrahedral due to one lone pair electron. But the molecular geometry is trigonal pyramidal. You can also see that the example for NH3. Theoretically, it should be 109.5 degree with a tetrahedral molecular shape, but due to this lone pair electron, we know that that a lone pair and bond pair repulsion is greater than bond pair bond pair repulsion. So, because of this, this NH bond angle is reduced to 107 degree, which result in that formation of trigonal pyramidal. So, expected shape is tetrahedral, but due to that lone pair of the electron, the actual shape, that bond angle is reduced to 107 degree, so that actual shape is trigonal pyramidal. In NH3 molecule, the molecular type is AB3L and the total electron pair around central atom 4 and bond pair 3 and lone pair electron only 1, electron pair arrangement tetrahedral but the actual shape due to this lone pair of the electrons trigonal pyramidal thanks for watching